All right, guys, I just left Cycle Bar and Baby. Mm -mm. <laughs> Cycle Bar is amazing. It's fun. It is something new. We're trying new things this year. We're in the month of March. Happy March, everybody. Um, and happy Sunday. Um, I'm heading into Aldi, but quickly, Cycle Bar is literally not for the week. Um, I definitely was encouraged, inspired. Definitely the only African-American woman that was in that class, which is fine with me. Um, but I'm going to do my best with keeping up with my health. I haven't been to the gym in two weeks, so I'm feeling it more. But health is wealth, and we are going to get this body together for spring, summer, etc. So let's go into Aldi and get some of our faves and food for the kids for the week. And um, let's go on in. clips from before so here are the few things that I picked up for the week I kind of did grocery shopping a little bit earlier in the week because we were supposed to have like I think up to six inches of snow on Friday but the snow never came so I'm really happy about that but anyways I'm gonna show you some of the things I grabbed and also I went to Starbucks and got me this um, venti ice matcha latte with oat milk and non-sugar uh, vanilla. It's really, really good. So this is just something to keep my energy going and just something healthy after a nice workout. Have been, I haven't been to the gym in about two weeks. So going to Cycle Bar was great, um, but it definitely pushes you to the next limit and definitely um, keeps your adrenaline going but if you are first starting out, it's not easy. All right, so I'll show you some of the things and then I'm gonna start cleaning up the house. Um, I need to do laundry. I need to um, clean up the, the living room area, wipe down, sweep and mop. So this is kind of gonna be like a Sunday reset video, but let me start showing you guys the items that I grabbed from Aldi. All right, so... Here are my bag. So I grabbed some bananas. Kids love fruit. So anytime my kids like always say they want a snack, fruit is always the first option. Then I grabbed some of their pears. I grabbed some broccoli. My daughter and I love mangoes. And honestly, these mangoes take about a good two to three days to soften, maybe three days, and then they're ready. 
There's Victoria in the back. She heard mangoes and she came over. She loves them. All right, and then I grabbed some oranges. You want to show them tails? Okay, go ahead. Hey, you want to do that? Okay. okay, Vicky. There goes tails. All right, and then, sorry, I didn't mean to push her like that. But here are some gala apples. And then here are some grapes that I grabbed. I love shopping at Aldi because all of their food and like organic food, everything is super affordable and cheap. And with prices rising, like we need to save our coins. Like seriously, we need to save our coins. I also grabbed some of their baby spinach. This is like under three bucks. So you can't go wrong with that. I love their yogurt. I used to get like the Danning yogurt for like five bucks, but you get a fraction of the price for like two fifty at Aldi. So the light vanilla yogurt. Yeah. And then I also grabbed two things of orange juice. Those are those two. I also grabbed some lactose free milk because we're a lactose free house. I grabbed, I need to do laundry, so I grabbed two of these. Next time, I'm going to obviously grab a bigger container of laundry um, detergent, but while I was at Aldi, I just grabbed these two. These are $3.94. And also, laundry detergent has gone up. Like, everything is just rising, so. But I think it may be almost time to get a Costco card because that may make more sense. Their chicken breast tenderloins. So I grab some of these. I cut these up and make the kids some chicken um, pasta with um, Parmesan. So they love this. So I grab some of that. Also with the chicken pasta, they love the breaded butterfly shrimp. So this is amazing. The kids love that. And like a quick breakfast in the morning are these um, French toast sticks. These are just like the originals, easy to pop in the microwave or in the oven and for the kids to have easy access to a quick breakfast before they go to school. And having three kids, you definitely have to make sure you're fully stocked. And like I said, I already have some groceries from earlier in the week because I already did some shopping, but you know, the fruits, that's a weekly thing. I always get fresh fruits. Um, and Aldi, honestly, if you go early in the mornings, um, most cases you're going to get all of the fresh fruits. Um, so I try my best to go early when po if it's possible. You know, I am a working mom, so during the week is very busy. But I notice that when I go early in the mornings, um, you are more than likely to find fresh fruits, whether it's a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, Isaiah loves these chewy granola, so I grabbed that. Their strawberries were like $2.94, so I grabbed two strawberries. One thing I would say about the strawberries at um, Aldi, you definitely want to make sure you eat them within a few days. Um, and my, like I said, my kids love fruit. I love to make fruit platters for them. So like on slower mornings, like on the weekends, mainly on Sundays or maybe early Saturday mornings, I'll cut up some fruit and put it on like a little platter and they can just kind of eat as much as they like. And with three kids, it's plenty enough food, uh, fruit for them to have easy access to it while they're eating their breakfast. So I grabbed two of those. And normally on my fruit platters, I'll put like apples, strawberries, um, a few oranges, and a um, few oranges and grapes. And my kids love the green grapes. Um, and the red ones, but they really like the green ones. And then I got two of these applesauce, um, the unsweetened ones, because the Mott's brand obviously is amazing and it's good too. But like I said, you can save your money at Aldi and get the unsweetened brand. And once your kids start um, having 
uh, foods that are unsweetened or snacks that are unsweetened, the, the sugar uh, intake for them doesn't change because they are used to having um, fruits or, I mean, foods that have no um, sugar in there or snacks that have not much sugar in them. So now there's nothing wrong with having sugar. The kids having a little bit of sugar, but for me, I do my best to watch the amount of sugar intake that they take just because, you know, they're, they go from here all the way here. When you have three, okay, okay. All right. And then I grabbed their fresh ground turkey. We like fresh ground turkey in the house, so I grabbed one of them. And then I also grabbed some chicken. I kind of feel like I should have grabbed more than one because this is kind of like a weekly grocery haul. And this was 30% off, so that was actually pretty good. Um, and that's pretty much it with the haul, guys. Um, so now I'm gonna put all these away and now we're gonna get to cleaning. Fool me once, fool me twice. Shame. When you're hiding things, might as well be lies Can you ever get it right? How long will I let this lie? Hit up my girls, pull up, I'm outside Wait about the curb, too upset to drive you Getting on my nerves, we gon' get lit on this ride I look too good to fight, don't expect me to come home tonight guys if you caught this part of the vlog you are seriously the real mvp guys mom life never ends 
when it comes down to cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, making sure the kids attend all their activities, and trying to find a little bit of balance. But this Sunday reset is definitely important because I started my morning off with a nice workout which gave me tons of energy and now I'm getting the house together. I was only able to really accomplish getting the kitchen and the um, living room area and as you can see make sure you guys are going (laughs) and looking under your couches especially if you have children because there's toys Um, and all sorts of things that could be under there. So make sure you guys are cleaning that at least weekly. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for all of the love. We are literally almost at 500 subscribers. I'm so appreciative of all of you. And I thank you guys for continuing to come on my channel, showing me some love, even if you're just liking, even if you can't comment, I just appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Right, it's what I deserve. Love, tell me what you.